this little video together because I have a lot of clients who have a hard time when they go from the sit to stand. And this is not to take the place of sound medical advice, but my friend who's actually filming this, he's a client, we'll call him Mr. T for right now. I pity the fool. But he's having significant pain the longer he sits. And unfortunately, he sits in a couch doing his work at home. Ugh, bad. But every time he goes to get up, there's some tightness here and pain in the lower back. So I'm gonna give you some, some tips, you desk jockeys out there, to help you alleviate some of your back stiffness and that hip stiffness um, when you go from sit to stand, even when you're sitting. So the first concept is time. How long does it take for you to experience pain when you're sitting? If you know you have pain right at the 30 minute mark, you're gonna start doing something, moving or stretching at the 29 minute mark. As you do these, hopefully your capacity builds will be longer and longer time before you have to stretch. But again, the first is time your pain, know your capacity. The second one, and this is the first one to go, is breathing. Deep breathing from the, from the diaphragm. It's not just to keep your head clear and to help you focus. Your, your diaphragm is part of your stability platform here. It's a part of your column. So better breathing, better core stability. It also helps you relax. Um, big one. And these are all around your desk. Squat. Get out of your chair and squat. Even if you have to squat lower than your chair, by your chair, hold on to your chair. A nice deep squat. How long do you hold? You can try for 30 seconds a minute. Build up to that. But this is great for opening up the hips and getting you out of that uh, tight position in the chair. Ah, another great one. Because we're always hunched over the keyboard, I want to open up the chest. So, put my hands behind here a little extension, elbows back, and I do some rotation, rotation. And I'm trying not to have the knees move, I want these locked. I'm rotating from the upper back. Inhale, shh, exhale, inhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We're opening up the upper chest. Ah, another great one. This is to get some more rotation. This is a threading the needle type variation. You're on your desk, and you reach under the other arm, and you reach and come back and you reach and come back. You can do this passively and just fall, or what I like, use the muscles of your stomach and help yourself, help pull yourself over. To the other side, it looks like this. You're taking the left arm, reaching underneath towards the other wall, and again, use your abdominals to pull yourself or rotate over. Big one, I'll face this way so you can see. Your abductors, your gluteus medius, gluteus medius keep your knees from falling in when you're sitting, so they're on. A lot of people, I do it also when I get tired, I tend to go in and these get tight. So, you can either do a passive abducting stretch, or what I like, I prefer, use the muscles on the outside and pull yourself open. Inhale, shh, pull yourself open. You're trying to stretch your groin or adductor muscles by using your abductor or glute medius muscles. This is a really good stretch and it feels good when you're sitting also when you go to get back up. Your hip flexors in front tend to get tight from sitting, and when you go to get up, they don't want to open up right away, and that's why you have that back stiffness and it takes you a while to walk. It takes you a while to walk around until that stiffness goes away. So, sorry if this looks perverted, but they're called hip thrusts or bridges. You're in your chair and you go up with your hips. Now again, there's two ways, and one you can just push yourself up. What I like doing, you push your heels into the ground. Tighten your butt and your hamstrings and squeeze and lift yourself up. You'll get much more out of it because you now you have active muscle, uh, muscle activity on the posterior side. These are not doing anything but stretching and being sort of turned off. You really can't turn off the muscle, but they're not as active as your glutes. Inhale, squeeze, exhale. Another thing for your ankles, your ankles are always in this uh, bent position. Other than getting a slant board, which I really like, a build one, it keeps your ankles stretched and up. This is a really nice ankle stretch. You go back, put the front of the ankle down, and just lean back again. You put the front of the foot down, rather, and the ankle, and you just lean back. And this is held for about six to 12 deep breaths, or about 30 seconds to one minute. So if you notice, I went from the uh, sort of the head down, but these are done, again, you should time yourself when you do your stretches. Put yourself on some sort of stretching schedule and know when you know before, be proactive before the pain gets there, the stiffness gets there. Try to get up and move. Heal, move, mobilize, evolve. Peace. Was it clear?